there, welcome back to Cannon Fodder, the channel for Arsenal fans all over this world. Glenn Helder, the Dutchman, is a perfect example how things can quickly change in football. One or two injuries, you find yourself out of favour and out of Arsenal. Glenn Helder, born 28th October 1968, is a former Dutch footballer who played as a winger. Helder was a product of Ajax Amsterdam's youth system and played for clubs in Holland's top flight football, being Sparta Rotterdam, Vietes Armen and NAC Breda. The Dutch international was signed for Arsenal from Vietes Armen for a fee of 2.3 million. A week later, George Graham had left the club. Quickly making his mark on Dutch domestic football, his decent spells at Sparta Rotterdam and Vietes Armen had prompted George Graham to sign him. For his spell at Arsenal, he had only played 39 games in two seasons, scoring one goal which came in a 3-2 win over Middlesbrough. His colourful image, long hair, ears pierced and flashy suits earned him the nickname Lionel Richie from the Highbury Faithful. But Bruce Rioch, the new manager at the time, wasn't a fan. And after, after taking over George Graham, legend has it that Rioch ordered Helder to get his hair cut. The arrival of the next new manager, Arsene Wenger, in 1996 meant Helder would be sent out on loan and unfortunately he suffered a series of injuries. Upon returning to Arsenal, he found his place on the wing was now occupied by his compatriot, Mark Overmars. This spelt the end for Helder at Arsenal. After leaving Arsenal, his career was fairly erratic, to say the least, and he popped up at places such as China, Hungary, and the lower leagues of Dutch football. He eventually ended up at Dutch third division club RBC Rosendahl, where he made ends meet by drumming in his father's jazz band. Helder, with Arsenal, made 27 league appearances, plus 12 as a substitute, and that solitary goal. Glenn Helder, he had the last signing made by George Graham at the uh, at Arsenal, and um, quite sad. Just reading and researching how his, uh, his career kind of spiraled out of control and had some personal problems. Um, there's no chance that he'll be watching this uh, channel, Camel Foy TV, but uh, if he is by any chance, from everyone on Camel Foy TV, I wish him all the best. If you want me to feature one of your favourite players, let me know in the comments box below and we will do our best. Yeah. Anyhow, this has been a Canon for the, the channel for Arsenal fans all over this world. And it's just sad breaking news.